Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, 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 if it isn't the classiest audience I have ever laid eyes on. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you. Romantic relationships have a huge propensity to make you feel valued. Whether it actually does depends mostly on how confident you are that your partner loves and values you. Well, extensive research has actually shown us that even though people with low self-esteem have more doubt, they're less likely to accept compliments and praise. It's not that we don't give enough compliments, it's that we often refuse to accept them. Allow me to demonstrate. I love the way you did your hair today. Really? It's a mess, I haven't washed it. I love that necklace. Oh, mm, I got it on sale. You look absolutely stunning. Yeah, okay, whatever. See this? This is my life. Thankfully, there is a solution. Studies show that you can actually boost your self-esteem and conquer insecurity if you go beyond accepting a compliment by focusing on the meaning behind it. To show this, we did an experiment. First, we brought in couples to act as our subjects and then gave them a test to measure their self-esteem. Without telling them how they did, we asked whoever scored lower to briefly step out. We have totted up the scores and I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask Kai to step outside. Oh man. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Ooh. Okay, great. Oh, okay. Yes. We asked the person who stayed to really consider who their partner was and write down five of the most authentic compliments they could give that person. When they were done, we asked them to read what they wrote their partners. By the way, no matter what he says, you can only respond with thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no matter what she says, you are only allowed to respond with thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Shakira Keller is a fantastic writer. Thank you. You are smart. Thank you. Tamra is beyond beautiful. Thank you. Because of who you are, you have inspired me to be a better and stronger person on this planet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. According to the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, when people go beyond merely hearing compliments and are asked to actually describe the meaning and significance of them, they actually started to feel better about their relationships and themselves. Okay, Karina, now Oscar is going to repeat all of those one by one. And for each one, I want you to explain uh, how what he says makes you feel and how it's significant to your relationship, okay? Okay. Shakira Keller is a fantastic writer. I love that. <laughs> One of the things that I do really pride myself on is my writing. And as much as I don't let you read what I write, um, I really do appreciate the fact that you think that. Makes me really happy. You are the most beautiful person I've ever met. I think that's very sweet. I don't think that's true, but I feel very humbled that someone thinks that. Shakira Keller is very stylish. No matter what it is that I put on, I feel like you would say that anyway, just to make me feel good, <laughs> which is great. I love you for that. Tamara is beyond beautiful. I really need to hear from you sometimes that I'm beyond beautiful because I'm getting old and I, I hope that you still see me as beautiful and beyond beautiful means like metaphysical, like the heart. You have inspired me to be a better person and a stronger person. I feel very thankful that you think that way because I feel as though every day you show me who I can be and that person's always better. So I'm thankful that you think that. Shakira Keller is adorable in all the weirdest ways. <laughs> um, I wouldn't call myself adorable but I'm glad that you think that because I don't think that there's that many people who would say that and appreciate the weird things about me. You are the most loving and caring person I know. Um, I think that this is very important to Oscar. Um, his mother I know was very caring when she was alive and very loving. And it's something and someone I try to be every day. And I know that he does the same for me every day. You're confident. Um. I don't know, it makes me feel good that she says that as well because I 
feel like I don't have a lot of confidence. If she views me as a confident person, then maybe everybody else that I interact with sees me as a confident person as well. I love you more than anything. Thank you. <laughs> it's hard to always accept that. I mean, that that's true. I feel, I feel like that's really, that's something that everyone wants. And um, I feel so fortunate and I feel the same way. And I know that it's, it's so special and it's unique and thank you. When they were done, we went ahead and tested their self-esteem one more time. We saw an average increase in self-esteem of 11%, with increases as high as 34%, and nobody decreased. Accepting compliments doesn't mean you're arrogant or conceited. It's healthy for both you and your relationship by validating your partner's thoughts. You just watched us try this experiment out with couples, but remember, this is a great exercise to try in any sort of relationship you care about. So feel free to try it out. If you want, film it and upload it to YouTube with the hashtag Science of Love, and we'll do something awesome with it. I'm Julian, and this has been the Science of Love. Soul Pancake, subscribe! <laughs>